finding the area of trapezoids and circles. Now, trapezoids and circles aren't really related, but uh, I just wanted to put two things together here, and they are slightly more complicated than rectangles and, tri and uh, triangles, so that's why they ended up together. Trapezoids, let's start with those. Remember area, again, we're looking for the number of small one-by-one -one units it would take to fill in a particular space. That's what we're finding when we find area. The formula to find the area of a trapezoid is A equals one-half, then parentheses, B sub one plus B sub two times h. Now, let's explain that where that comes from a little bit here. If we look at a trapezoid, if we were to basically cut off, let's say, this piece right here, and flip it up, and then we cut off this piece right here, and flip it up, then what we would have really is a rectangle and a rectangle we take uh, base times height or length times width to get the area of what we're finding right here in this one half b sub one plus b sub two is this distance across the middle basically we're finding the average of this and this that gives us the distance in the middle which is basically that rectangle that uh, we would end up with so and then the height of the parallel or the trapezoid, excuse me, is the distance from the bottom base to the top base. And it is not this distance along the side that's marked 17.5. We want the distance between the two bases perpendicular to the bases. So let's go ahead and put that in there, put in the information we have. So the area of this trapezoid, A equals one half times B sub one, doesn't matter which one you pick first, I'll take 22. So we have 22 plus B sub two, that's the other base, 36. And then we have the height, the height is 15. So now we've got it all filled in, we're gonna go ahead and use the order of operations to work this out. Order of operation says we need to go inside the parentheses, take care of that stuff first. So we have area equals one half, and we need to add these two things. 36 plus 22 is 58, and times 15. Then we're gonna go ahead and just multiply all that stuff. Remember one can be also known as the decimal 0.5, so we'll take 0.5 times 58 times 15, which gives us 435. Then don't forget to label your answer. We have feet, and remember we're talking about area. So in other words, this means we have 435 little squares, one foot by one foot, to fill in this space. When we're talking about those little squares or area, our label needs to be squared. That's a trapezoid. Then let's take a look at finding the area of a circle. To find the area of a circle, we have area equals pi r squared. Okay, pi, remember, is 3.14 approximately. We'll use 3.14 and R stands for the radius. The radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the outside. So let's take a look at this first one. We'll have area equals pi, which is 3.14 times R squared. R is six, so it's gonna be six squared. Order of operation says we need to square that six first Remember, to square something is to multiply it by itself. That's not six times two. We would write the two down here if it was six times two. It's six times six. That number tells us how many times we're multiplying this number. So six times six gives us 36. Then, finally, we multiply 3.14 times 36. 3.14 times 36.
equals 113.04. Okay, and we have the label, which is inches, and we're talking about area, so it's going to be inches squared. So it would be 113.04 inch squares that would fill that circle last one we have 28 meters but this isn't the radius it's the diameter of this circle remember to get the di the radius if we're given the diameter we have to take it in half so 28 divided by 2 gives us 14 meters so our radius in this circle is 14 then it's going to be the same story we're going to fill in into our area of the circle formula. So we have area equals pi, which is 3.14 times 14 meters squared. Now, we're gonna go ahead and square 14. 14 squared is, I believe it's 196, but I hate to goof it up, so let's check. 14 times 14, 196. Then we multiply 3.14 times 196, and that gives us 3.14 times 196 equals 615.55. Our label is meters, and remember we're talking about area, so it's meters squared. Quickly again, the area of trapezoids, to find the area of a trapezoid, we use this formula. Basically, we're finding the average of the top and the bottom, multiplying that by the height. To find the area of a circle, we use this formula, pi r squared. Remember, pi is 3.14. r squared, remember to square a number, we take it times itself. It's not times 2. Multiply the stuff out, we get our answers. And remember, when we're talking about area, our label is always squared.